Hello guys, what's going on? In today's episode, I've got a very nice query that we've got from Dinesh. Thank you very much Dinesh for this uh, query and hopefully this answers your question. So what he basically said is he's got a date in his spreadsheet and there's a collection amount. So every day he tallies up the sales that he's got and he puts it here in C1. And as the, the date goes on, we, he just wants to put in the date and then Excel needs to fetch the value that's in C1 and put it in the appropriate date. This is quite nice. So basically let's demonstrate. So let's say we've got our first sale here. So we racked up 500 in sales here. Let's call it rands or rupees or dollars or whatever it is. We've got a currency here. And year in date, we want to put in the today's date. So today is the 29th of April at the time of this recording. So I'm just going to put in 2021-04-29. And as I hit enter, VBA code will fetch that amount in C1 and plug it in here. So now let's say we've got the next date. So we've got the 30th of uh, April year and we racked up a thousand rupees or rands of sales. And now we want to input it here and it needs to fetch it. So let's see if it works. 2021-04-30. And then boom, it picks it up and place it. One last test. Now the next day, 1,500. And we've got our next day, 2021-04 and 31. And boom, it plugs it in. How awesome is this, guys? And even if you change the date, uh, that won't affect it. So... This is quite awesome VBA code that I'm going to teach you guys now. But first of all, hit that little like button, hit this little subscribe button down below and hit that bell button as well so I can notify you if I upload any more content. Without further ado, let's get this one started. So I'm going to start this one off from scratch. So I'm just going to exit this, not going to save it. I'm going to start off a new Excel spreadsheet here. So new Excel spreadsheet and we're just going to go into this one. Very important is we're going to save it as a macro enabled Excel file because we got, are going to work with a little bit of VBA code here. So I would like you to go to file, save as, we're going to save it to the desktop. You can name it anything you want, but just make sure here as save file type, you go to the drop down and make sure you tick on Excel macro enabled workbook and say save. That makes sure that, that we can plug in macros here. Just going to view my bar here as well all right so let's get started so first of all let's start off with the data so here in a1 we just would like to have a date so just going to plug in date highlight the whole column in a go to home and then we're going to go to format so we're just going to format this it's currently format as general click on the drop down and click on short date so we know this is always going to be a date okay in b1 you're just going to write in collection all right, we're going to highlight these two in yellow and here in C1, this is where we're going to plug in our daily sales or whatever we're tracking. I'm just going to put in a little orange and I'm just going to make a little bit space and zoom in a little bit here. So effectively, we want to plug in a sale here and we want to put in a date. So today's date, the 29th, 2021, 04, Nothing happens yet because we don't have any code running at this moment. You can just highlight everything and place it in the middle as well just to make it look neat as well so there we go all right so let's go and plug it in i would like you guys to go and fetch cheat sheet number one that i left you in the video descriptions down below all for free and i'm just going to go and fetch that for us quickly so cheat sheet number one will be just here just going to go quickly fetch it so this is how it looks and you're going to highlight everything here. Oh, got the wrong cheat sheet here. So cheat sheet number one. Got it here. There it is. And we're going to highlight everything here. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. And now we're going to go back into our little spreadsheet that we created. So we're going to click on the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab yet, quick fix. You're going to go to file. We're going to go to options here down below. You're going to click on customize ribbon and you're going to make sure that developer box is ticked and you're going to say OK. So this will give you access to the developer tab. You're going to go into the visual basic. 
interface here so this is how it looks it's quite daunting at first but nothing to fret about i'm gonna go through you step by step so i would like you to highlight sheet one here double click and this will open up some interface here on the right hand side just click on it Control v to paste that little code that i've got and you just click on save and we're gonna say okay all right so now uh, I would like you go, guys to go to cheat sheet number two as well. So I'm just going to open up my cheat sheet number two. So I've got cheat sheet number two. I left it for you guys in the description below as well. Just going to open it up. Click somewhere in the document. Control A to highlight everything. Control C to copy. And then we're going to go back into our Visual Basic interface here. So here's our interface. And now, just a little quick trick, I'm going to click on this Microsoft Excel objects, right click, and we're going to insert a module. So just click on a module, this inters, inter, in, uh, enters a module, double click on the module, and you're just going to click in the interface area here, control V, and we're going to add collection, this module here, and you're going to just hit save. Say OK. And now we can exit. So let's test this up. So let's say we racked up the sales here. Let's say we only did 50 rupees worth of sale or rands or dollars. And here in our date A2, we're going to put in plug in today's date. So 2021-0429. Hit enter and lo and behold, B2 picks up that number. So let's say we're in our next day. So the 30th. So we racked up, let's say, 100 worth of sales. You will see it doesn't change the what we've got here because you can use the today date but that doesn't work uh, because it will always change the value so now let's change the date here 2021 0430 and it will plug it in last test just to make sure 200 uh, let's go for our date here 2021 0431 and it picks it up guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial remember to hit that like button hit this little subscribe button and that bell notification and i will see you guys for our next episode outro here we go